So I just got up. It's 3 a.m. California time. I did already come out here and turn on, turn on the coffee maker. What am I doing up at 3 a.m.? That's what time I normally get up. I just wake. I don't need an alarm. Um, it is my show day, and uh, a lot of people and my wife were like, don't. It's upside down. What the hell? My wife's like, don't do work. You guys shouldn't be doing work. You know what, though? You know, uh, the way I see it, it's like, if you provide a service to somebody, you take somebody's money, say you're going to do something, you do it to the best of your abilities. Not all people will. Well, I'll, in my experience in the last 10 years, everybody's client's definition of that is a little different. You might give it your all and they still think you're not giving enough. But I try to do the best I can. I'm going to go brew this cup. I just check my weight, my condition. Condition's good. Weight's 215.7. Uh, still needs to climb a little bit more before prejudging to fill up. And uh, I'm going to do a little emails. Eat my meal one at 4, 4.30 about to time out the meals correctly. And uh, that will be a, a combination of uh, this stuff up here. Rice and grinds, the best stuff on the earth. I already pre-measured it. Ran it a roll. And obviously my... my uh, water restriction today. I'm only like two liters versus five and three and a half yesterday. <sighs> Got our, my all our food ready to roll. And then uh, keep you updated, but start of the morning, let's go. I look forward to that every morning and I don't know why since Lexi has been here and we have this coffee maker which we normally use this Keurig and this is the beautiful coffee we use this thing brews it like I can't even it's like freaking pure heaven so I've been dying for this cup of coffee all day and so I have to wake up Alexia it's four in the morning to do some progress pics to send to my buddy Vu Take some big spots. Can you can you get up soon? Mm -hmm. How long? Like five minutes? Yeah. And then you can go right back to bed. Deal? So I'm gonna go wake up Lexi for the second time. Actually, I think she might be awake. She's a little bit of a grumpy bear in the morning. Not entirely a morning person, even though she gets up pretty early to most standards. Not my crazy early, but early. Let's go check it out. Oh, she's up. I'm pooping. <laughs> it's on the camera. <laughs> oh. When you send progress pictures, most important thing is to be as consistent you possibly can be. However, there's always variances in camera adjustment that happens that's automatic. So for example, if I hit a side chest and I don't move, and Alexia takes the picture 10 times, it's not gonna be 10 identical pictures unless it's one of those fast shutter cameras that takes like But I notice in the camera phone, I might take, she might take the side chest one, two, three, four, and I look at the four side chests, and there are slight variances because of the auto change of the lighting. If I take one step inch to the left, to the right, the lighting does change, especially when you're trying to monitor fine detail changes, whether you're getting drier or harder. That's something to take into consideration when you're sending your progress pictures to your coach, that you gotta do your part and be as consistent as you can be, because that allows them to read things better. Lighting in dark hallways are not the answer. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no, definitely not. Our heading over now to get his final tan and then pre-judging in a few hours, so. Get ready to roll. We just got tanned, and we were talking about our emails, how like they're kind of slow today. Which I mean, it should be it's Sunday, and I'm confused. Yeah, usually we don't work Sundays, but sometimes when you know, travel, you try, yeah, it trickles in. And it trickles in, and you have extra time, you try to get it done, but like sometimes it's good to, it helps pass the time when you're waiting and waiting, because I got about two hours. Yes. 
Are you dehydrated? Actually, it's like therapeutic answering people's emails. Like, we love what we do. Therapeutic when you have clients that are reasonable. <laughs> or if you're having like a good day where people are actually progressing or you're learning or you're just really into it. There are some tough days, but for the most part, it is therapeutic, I think. Correct. <laughs> Correct. All right, we're going to head backstage shortly and uh, wait until pre-judging, and I'm going to try to get enough footage for you guys. So, stay tuned. Many of you guys are probably like waiting for me to make all these excuses or whatever he does, but that's not how I kind of generally view things. 
Um, I've been competing in individual sports my entire life. Um, wrestling, motocross, the whole nine. So I know what it's like to lose and it'd be all on you. And you could legitimately do everything you possibly could do and work as hard as possible and that hard as possible and you being your best still might not be good enough. And I think some people, despite putting so much effort into something and say they did everything right and it still not work out, it's kind of shocking to them when it doesn't prevail. But that's life. You could do is so much and it still not work. And that's just how it is. Yeah. And that's, I understand that. So like, I don't have any negative emotions at all. I was the best I could be today. And the best I could be today wasn't good enough. It's, this is the pro ranks. It's yeah. a totally different ball game. I love bodybuilding and I'm not upset because I did improve and I am the best I version I've been. And that's all you can ask for. Some people don't understand that you might not bring your best and do well against a weaker lineup and then come back and do everything right and get a worse placing. That happens. But here's it's the thing, building. here's the thing in, in individual sports, expectations. So if you go in the expectations like, I'm gonna take this whole thing, it's gonna blow the wind right out of your sail, you're probably gonna quit. <laughs> <laughs> like, we see it happen so much, so Ego much. Ego gets deflated. Yeah. Control those expectations. This could be anything in life, really. But Chris went in with good expectations being, I'm just going to be the best I can be. I have no expectations. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, it's like, Let's have of fun course, with it. everybody wants to freaking win we do. well. Yes, of, course. of course. But you could be second. You could be second to last. Pro rates, too. You have the guys that have all won their pro cards. So it's not like it's an amateur show where I mean, some guys don't even come in in shape and then you get maybe people that are soft. But... <laughs> but for the most part, it is a higher competition, and your expectations are just to beat your best, your last look, every time. You no, know, according to uh, Vu and some other people, the only thing, if I was going to go back and change, because I'm such a pasty white dude, is do more base coats leading up to the show, and to apply less on top of the skin. That way you get more of it. But would that really have made a huge difference? We have no idea. No. Um, it's just, it, it, I'm happy. I have no, I have no, I'm happy. I have no complaints. You hit your poses right? Yeah. Now, if I was, if I looked like <laughs> 10 pound shit in a five pound bag, and my tan was horrible, and I posed like a jackass, yeah, then I'd be upset, because obviously, I didn't do my homework, but I did. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll keep you guys posted. What you doing? Answering people. <laughs> True competitor fashion. We're back. Here we are. Waiting. Like Forever. It's been a really long day. It's hot. It's a small auditorium. And uh. He's sweating and he can't sweat. And it was late and they're like, you know, they're like, it's gonna go quick. They wanna get back there around seven, even when it starts yeah, six thirty. No. Get here at seven didn't even start yet. <laughs> and then like they're dragging yeah. things on unnecessarily. Kinda of miss the high rate of speed sometimes. It's like the NPC show shows up in uh, the northeast. Yeah. Where it goes a little faster. I feel like they like to drag it out just to make it worth it for people. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Which is true and it's nice. Makes sense. But like so how are you feeling, buddy? Two. You know what's really funny is last year, or uh, last time two times I competed, I was like, for some reason, last on the damn roster to go out to pose again this time. <laughs> so not only is 212 <laughs> last on stage, I'm also last to go. Do you think it's because your last name starts with a T? <sighs> oh, could be. I didn't think of that. Yeah, well, I'll bet. I didn't think of that. Watch it. <laughs> He's feeling good. It's the basis of this little rant. <laughs> Dude, I, might, I might start like pounding some booze. No, you won't. He was yeah. But what? Go lay down somewhere. No. Okay. Keep you updated.
so bored. This is what we're doing right now to occupy our time. I don't think I can whistle anymore. It'd be nice. It'd be nice if I could poop some. <laughs> Thank you.